So there's something I didn't realize until yesterday and I feel really stupid. Look at this. You see what this says? It says my inspection expired April 2017. <laughs> So I wanted to go get it inspected yesterday, but realized I still had so much stuff wrong with my car. There's no side mirror. There's like issues with the bottom of the car. I got an airbag fault. So I'm going to take it to the shop today and try to get it all fixed. So I get this inspection done. All right, so basically what I'm trying to get fixed today is this mirror like I was showing you before, and they said uh, can't really do anything about this. So I'm gonna see if I could just kind of like do that myself. So that's my R32, and this is the newer one. This looks pretty sick. I'd love to upgrade this to that. <laughs> hey. Hey, what's up? Not much. So, um, <laughs> there's a lot of problems with my car. Yeah, I mean, you kind of figured that. So you want to hear how much it's going to cost if I were to fix everything? Sure. $2,300. I mean, that's what I figured, though. Oh, that's what I said, like, with my car, remember? I was like, oh, $2,500 or whatever. So he said that I won't pass inspection if I don't Crap. do those things. <laughs> Shit, I don't want to spend $2,300. Hell no. I'd rather get a new car. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I need to like just figure this out. Like right now, I I don't want to spend that much money on it. So I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do. I guess I'm gonna be riding my skateboard around all the time. <laughs> so I started working out again. Like I haven't worked out in the longest time. Uh, I just want to burn off a, some fat off my stomach. Like <laughs> I, I'm getting so fat because all I do is just sit at the computer and just work all day. I just haven't been active, so I've kind of been picking up the jump rope, and it, it seems like it's it's a really good exercise. And uh, I've been reading a bunch about it, and people say that you can kind of burn a lot of fat, and it's it's more efficient than just going for a run or a jog. So that's what I've been doing recently. So uh, let's get a little quick workout in. Feel it. It's starting to get sweaty. Feels good though. Alright, I'm done. That was an awesome workout. <laughs> so I went for this jump rope. It's pretty basic. It's got like a wire in there. And uh, what I really like about it is when you screw up, you kind of get whipped by the jump rope. And I'm not saying I'm into that kind of thing, but uh, it kind of like motivates you to try harder so that you don't screw up and get whipped. But uh, check out my arms. Got like a little bit going on there, a little bit there, a little more going on right there. I'm sure there's more, but I'm done. I gotta get showered, I'm hungry. I need to get something to eat. I got some Yeah. How long did the battery last? Uh, you could probably get like 16 miles out of it. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Wanna try? Yeah. <laughs> if you get hurt, it ain't my fault. <laughs> if you want, I mean, I don't. Yeah, we'll try it out. Yeah, sure. So, kind of like this. And then that's the breakdown. Breaks down? Yeah. Oh, that is a What do you think, man? <laughs> now I know you said don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Pretty sick, right? Alright, down the break. Ease into it. Man. Yeah. Alright man, have a good day. So I'm trying to get something a little little healthier than just regular old Chinese food. I went with uh steamed chicken and broccoli with brown rice. Uh I don't want it 
go all out and get like this crazy meal and then that workout was for nothing. <laughs> What am I gonna do about you? Ah, oh, so much work to be done. So what do you guys think of that cool little freeze frame effect that I did in this vlog a few times? So I actually did a tutorial on this like way back when, but it was sort of like the opposite effect. This time I think it's it's a little bit different, but still really cool. And if you haven't saw the tutorial yet, I got it right up there. If you want to click that, it's all on my main channel. Uh, it's pretty simple. You just need Photoshop and some sort of editing software. I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro. And the basic idea behind it is you kind of want to capture different frames within your sequence and then kind of take a screenshot and then bring that screenshot into Photoshop cut yourself out and then, or whatever you're capturing and then putting it back into Premiere. So if you're interested in knowing how to do that, uh, check out that link up there, like I said already, and uh, you should be able to do it yourself. So I'm just trying to get a bunch of stuff done right now. I've got some emails, and some other crap and some other crap. I'm also preparing for this call that I'm doing with YouTube, which I'm really excited for because it's it's like a YouTube consultation call. So I've been working with someone at YouTube. So I'm kind of getting some tips on what I should be doing on my channel, what I shouldn't be doing on my channel, like uh, maybe how to engage with your audience a lot better, going over analytics and how to use them to my benefit. I think it's really helpful that YouTube actually spends the, <laughs> spends the time to work with creators and uh, help them make better content on YouTube. The thing is though, I can implement all these sort of techniques and tips into my YouTube channel and it might make my channel a lot better or I might attract new subscribers, more views, but it's not gonna be a quick process. It obviously takes a long time to sort of make things happen. And it's kind of going back to my previous video where I was talking about creativity and the idea of creating quantity content continuously doing it. So you kind of learn from the process and what you need to do the next time. So you kind of learn what you did and how to make it better. And that's what we're all trying to do here. Uh, whether it's YouTube or something else, you kind of want to stick to what you are good at, continuing doing it every single day until you get better and better. Uh, so that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to do. All right, guys, so uh, this is Doreen, and uh, she's helping me out with, you know, the little YouTube con consultation that I was talking about. Um, one tip, or one thing she just told me was that uh, you guys that are watching the vlog right now should all hit the like button, right? <laughs> Definitely. That's, that's actually a really, really important part of optimizing your channel and growing your audience. You got to hit that like button. Yeah, so if you do that, thank you, guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> all right, bye. Bye. Why are you crawling? <laughs> I'm Freaking big. I'm a little healer. Diana already told me, so she's she said she's just gonna pay for my car, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, what what should we do? Or what should I do at least? I don't know, that really depends on you. Like alright, enough with that. That's annoying. Do you know what car you would want? Because now, to just get rid of this one, to just, you know, get into a lease with another car that you don't even care about is kind of pointless. I was thinking, like, Lamborghini, but... Alright, well, I don't think they lease those, though. <laughs> okay, bye. Ew, you're real sweaty. <laughs> you better get your jump rope in today. Uh... <laughs> Take my car. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll check out my next vlog. Thanks for stopping by, and make sure you hit the like button.